Well, a group of protesters showed up at the city of Tempe's July 4th celebrations last night at Tempe Beach Park, and things at one point escalated into a confrontation. Elliot Polakoff has a look at what happened. After positioning themselves in front of the stage by Tempe Beach Park last night, pro-choice supporters continued their march into downtown Tempe, where at around 9.30 p.m., a confrontation took place near the corner of Mill and University between the protesters and a vehicle containing AZ Patriots founder Jennifer Harrison. AZ Patriots is a far-right group, and you can see as Harrison turns the corner, someone in the car sprays what Tempe police believe to be pepper spray into the crowd, which hit multiple children and adults. Tempe police released a statement saying four people were treated and one was taken to a nearby hospital. I spoke with Vivica Lofton, who was the woman hospitalized at St. Luke's for two hours. She says it wasn't pepper spray, but rather bear spray. She's feeling better now and is at tonight's protest ready to continue pushing for women's abortion rights. For me protesting, bad things are going to happen, but like because the, everyone's going to hate what you do, no matter how you do it or how you say it, whatever, but... It just is like really important to me and my family. It's what we believe in to like protest and just protest for everybody's rights. Tempe police say the vehicle left the area before officers arrived and that there's an ongoing investigation into the incident. I reached out to Jennifer Harrison, but did not hear back. Elliot Polikoff, Arizona's family.